welcome back to whatever it is I do here. Hold on, wait for it. Where is it? Today's video is going to be an install video, even though like my install videos aren't really like install videos. They're just me struggling to do things on my car. You know what I mean? So, and if you think my hair looks different this week, it's because it is different and I got it done diddly dead done. I got this bad girl off of ECS tuning. It is a clutch stop. This is what I explained in my last video that I was going to do for my next video and hence why I'm here doing it on this video. All right, cool. Here we go. Of course you have to have the ECS logo on this because if you didn't, then no one's gonna know that this is from ECS tuning because everyone just looks behind the clutch pedal. So, so there's a stock one on there already that you just have to pop out. Pretty much you drill a hole behind the clutch pedal, insert this in, it has like little teeth on here to grab. You psh, this in there, and then you can adjust it to your liking with this little nut. Pretty fucking excited for that. So yeah. All right, it's time, it's time, it's time. All right, so um, this is blurry. All right, so they're vacuuming over there, so I gotta be kind of loud. And now he's pressure washing as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you where the stock one is. Right there is what we're going to remove, and then we're gonna drill that out. All right, so I'm gonna use a razor blade. Probably isn't the best way to do this, but we're gonna just make it work. All right. Okay, so I've got the stock insert out, so as you can see, obviously this guy isn't going to fit there. We're going to drill out a bigger hole to make this one fit. I'm using a 9mm drill bit. So you're going to have to get behind the clutch pedal here, which is kind of a pain in the ass. God, this is really difficult holding a camera at the same time. Okay, so I have that part complete. I just need to get this into the hole. So as you can see, we now have a decent size hole to stick it in. Oh boy, that's what she said. Okay. Alright, we got it installed. Kind of disappointing the ECS thing isn't aligning. I probably could make it perfect to where it shows the right way up, but I'm not gonna see it. I'll just let it bother my OCD while I'm driving knowing that the ECS symbol there is not perfectly straight, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're done with install. We're gonna take this on a test drive review, see how it feels, and uh, yeah. So, funny story here. I put it in, started it and it didn't start. I was talking to my friend Tyler about this and how excited I was to install it and he didn't know what it was either. I'm like, I didn't know either until a little while ago. And he's like, wait, if you can't put your clutch pedal all the way down, how is your vehicle gonna start? I'm like, well, I, I, I don't know. I've watched install videos and, and people have it start just fine and yada da da da. I'm like, whatever. I adjusted it a bunch of times and I maxed it out and it still didn't work. So I had to take the nut off that's meant to be there for the adjustable feature on it and it works. So I literally had to take the knot off, screw it all in and I finally got it. But we're gonna test drive it right now. It still feels a lot different as I was pulling it out of the detail bit. Oh yeah. Ah, I'm so happy right now. I used to have so much play here and now it's like almost an immediate grab right as I let my foot off the clutch. So I totally forgot to bring my camera mount for my um, windshield so i'm just gonna drive around my work parking lot so my camera doesn't fly off the dash all right i'm gonna go on a hill as you can see i'm rolling backwards it grabs so i'm so happy i don't know why they don't have it where it is to this position like stock it's crazy how just that little bit that's sticking out actually creates a huge difference i kind of want to go on the road but i don't want my camera to fly off the dash all right we're gonna go on the road Oh my god, this guy's passing me. Bye. Wow, he has a trail hawk. Mopar no car, baby. So you can also tell like at a stop going in a first letting off there's a big difference, but also when you're just driving normally. So yeah, I think my plan is gonna be to get a couple of washers and then put them on the screw and see how far I can go and how much I can play with. I watched the install video by ECS Tuning. He was doing it on a Mark 7 GTI. I have a Mark 6 Jetta, so there's probably a difference somewhere in there. But yeah, 
would I recommend it? 100% yes, I would recommend it. For the price and for the time it takes to install it, it's cheap and it's simple to do. I got mine with shipping from ECS for 27 bucks and I think I did it what in 10 minutes if that probably less like five minutes so yeah i would have to give her an old uh, 10 out of 10 10 out of 10. all right thank you so much for watching this video please be sure to like comment subscribe all the stuff with the things and the stuff uh meme of the week's gonna be right here don't ask why I'm wearing a sombrero in the thumbnail that I just was. So if you're disappointed that I'm not wearing a sombrero or wasn't wearing a sombrero this whole video, sorry for the clickbait. All right, I will see you next week. Okay, bye.